Hey everybody, Kathy here with Pain Point by Kathleen Miller. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to try to create ghost cattails with my catalyst swipe. So it should be kind of interesting. We'll see. <laughs> I have my 16 by 20 canvas down and it is dry. There is nothing on it at all. There is no base. My base is going to be these colors over here, which is Amsterdam uh, Ultramarine Violet, Artist Loft Metallic Purple. This is Liquitex Quinac Bordeaux Magenta, Liquitex Dioxazine Purple, Amsterdam Permanent uh, Violet, and this is Amsterdam Light Blue, Skylight Blue. So we're going to see what happens here, Phil. Okay. I hope everybody's having a good day. Like I said, I'm just going to throw some of this on the canvas and see what happens. Right out of the tube. Huh? Right out of the tube. Uh, okay. No mixing, no muss, no fuss. No. If you don't like your colors, you can always change them. I mean, you don't have to. I just went in my stash and thought, okay, well, let's just try a little bit of this and see what happens. Okay, I'm gonna take my brush and we're gonna see. Ooh, pretty. Yeah, that's, those are some, it's a gorgeous mix of colors, that's for sure. Oh, it is, isn't it? I love doing this. I can, so tell, I can tell you have a big smile on your face. It's so fun. It's just so fun. Really I think is. you missed a little bit of that yeah, I know. corner. I know. I know, Phil. Oh. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. Be happy, Phil. I am. Oh, adding a little bit of red. In it. Well, no, that wasn't red. But. No, it's the magenta. Just to give it a little bit more pizzazz. You get a little bit more contrasting colors there. and Some different colors peeking through every now and then. You're actually putting some sort of uh, design in there with your brush already. Correct. Okay. All right. That's cool. You sort of have an open spot there. Maybe you want that. Okay. Okay. I think that's just about it, Phil. Okay, so you put down the tube paints. Correct. And then you brushed it with a paintbrush, and that also created not only mixing the tube paints, but uh, a design. Correct. Now, I'm going to take my Catalyst Wedge, Let's see. Yes. number two. Oh, number two. Okay. And, uh, we're going to start doing a little bit of design in here, Phil. Okay. I just want to let people know I will be putting a Catalyst Wedge demo at the end of this video. Oh, that is so cool. Look at the colors that were picked up. Wow. Kind of looks like a cattail. Well, okay. But it's whatever it is, it's pretty cool. I like the... Uh, the colors underneath, I think it's kind of cool. Well, yeah, the way you laid the colors down, you, it, it, you're picking up really neat colorations as you use that catalyst wedge, which is neat. It's just not all, you know, one color. Mm -mm. <laughs> that is so cool. This is so neat. It's so fun. Just 
have fun with it, people. Just go with the flow. Oh, wow. There you go. That is so neat. You've there got the you different go. colorations. You've got, I guess what you call it, cattails. A that's nice, what I call it. I mean, up there. no, I know that's fine. It's, it just looks like cattails to me for some reason. I don't know. I suppose I could put little, you know, wisp on the cattails. <laughs> but this is uh, so fun. I'm amazed at the the neat uh, colorations you got by just, you know, putting a little bit right out of the right tube here. of the different colors on the canvas. Oh, that just finished it. Oh, there you go. Okay. Yep. Yeah, um, just take a whole bunch of colors that you might think go together, put them on your canvas, and that'll bring up the bottom. And as you can see, it brought up the, the light sky blue. Um, it brought yes. up the magenta. It brought up the permanent, whatever this is. Red violet. Red violet. Red, yes. Yeah. Well, it's... It's just different. It's just very different. Yes. It's, and it's not super involved in having to mix paints. No. Have a, you don't need any pouring medium. It's just a really neat technique. It's just an easy technique, technique for, for beginners. I mean, this is perfect for beginners. Yes. You can create some really striking compositions mm -hmm. with a very easy technique. Um, and like I said, not very much preparation in the fact that you don't have to do any mixing. No. Can pick your favorite colors. Exactly. And Phil, you know, any beginner can do this. <laughs> so, um, uh, some of the catalyst wedges might be out of stock because they're really, really, really um, popular right now. So, uh, just hang on. They'll be back in stock. Well, we have them uh, available in our Amazon shop. But I'm not sure they're... But that's, um, well, they well, can at least can. go to the Amazon exactly. shop, check it out. And, uh, They'll be back in stock because they're just very, very popular, fun thing to do right now. Right. And there's a direct link in our in our Amazon shop. Direct link in the description box to get to our Amazon shop. Right. So um, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel. We'd love to have you uh, as one of our subscribers and hit the bell. You'll be notified every single time Phil does a video. And you never know what we're going to come up with. Um, it's just kind of like popped in my head, and uh, that's what I did for today. So I'm off to buy some more 16 by 20 canvases later on, and uh, I might do some even different things with it. So if you like it, give me a thumbs up, share it with your friends. It really helps my channel, and uh, just have fun. It's only paint, and I'll see you all later, alligators. Love you all. Bye. Oh, do you want to tell me you'll tack on I did. the wedges? Oh, yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. at the end of this video, right there, in a few seconds, I will be tacking on uh, the demo video of the different types of catalyst wedges. Yeah, and that's, it, it's really a great video for you to learn. Okay, love you all. Bye-bye. Okay, everybody, I'm back. So what I'm going to do on this video, I'm showing you how to use the three different types or four different types of catalyst wedges. Phil is tacking this on, so I'm gonna show you also how I painted my canvas. I just took my color to go from Sherwin-Williams, straight out of the can here, no water, no silicone, no glue. And this is just an empty puppy. And I just take my paintbrush and do this. I usually do a sponge, but today I'm doing this paintbrush. Well, I think the paintbrush would leave it a little bit thicker than doing a sponge, wouldn't it? Well, it doesn't, ha it doesn't have to be real thick. I know, but... Um... Now I'm just doing my sides now. Then I'll come back so no one gets confused.
We'll make it pretty. Now, Phil, you know, you could do this. That I think I could do, yes. So <laughs> I'm going to have you practice, <clears throat> and I'm going to video you. Because some people don't know what you look like. They're asking me what you look like. And I just say, goofy. But I think it, you're going to see quite a difference in these catalyst wedges because of the teeth. And like I said, um, my favorite is number four, but I want all of you in the comments to tell me I which one. your favorite was number two. Number two. Number two. Um, tell me which one, you know, <laughs> is actually going to be your favorite. Um. Okay. Okay, so that is how you prepare the canvas for uh, doing your wedge, okay. wedges. All right. So, <clears throat> bye bye, paint can. Okay, so now what I've done, I've taken my three colors again, put them on my plate, and we're going to start out with these numbers. So I'll go two, three, and four. Okay. I'll go in order. Of course, I'm starting out with my favorite. Hopefully I have enough paper towels here. If, it, if not, okay. This is number two. Catalyst wedge number two. Okay, you're grabbing a little bit of each of the three colors. colors. Okay, yeah. just onto the teeth. Okay. And here we go. Okay, wow. That so is... that's your number two. Okay, that's the type of pattern you get from the number two, all right. And you're actually bringing up some of the canvas. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to keep them separate so they can yes. see. Yes, Okay. Okay, now, let's see a number three. Number three. What it looks like. Okay, kind of dull teeth, all right. Wider see teeth. colors. This is the wider teeth. As you can see, oh yes, they're wider. That was a number two catalyst. No, this was a number three. I know. I, you, oh, you're not paying attention to what I'm doing. No, I'm, I'm pointing out. Oh. This was number two, and this was number three catalyst wedge. Okay, now we're Very coming different. up to number four. That's four. Okay. As you can see, that's even wider. Yes. Oh, that's pretty cool. I, uh, I personally like that one in the respect that it brought up uh, between the paint, uh, the heavier paint is the is more of the lighter blues and the base. So that was number four. Now I can show them this yes. little dinky number 24. Yeah, well that's how I wanted to see the teeth so they could see. Well, I'll show you after now. Okay, so all right. I'll be able to see it. Okay, where am I gonna go here? I'll just do a little one here. And see, it really doesn't bring up much of the underneath canvas. Right, so. Uh, depending on the effect you want, let me just uh, we'll take a look at that. Okay, little bitty teeth. All right. So, this was a number two. Mm -hmm. This was a number three wedge. Mm -hmm. This was a number four wedge, which I particularly like. 
And okay. this is the number 24. Okay. So you can create really, really different cool effects depending on what, what you use. Yes. Now, um, maybe I will show the cake. Well, yeah. As because long as we're doing this. You can see the difference. You know, some people are using, what are those called? Cake decorator okay. tools. All right. So I don't know how this is going to work. As you can see, the teeth on those are sharp. I don't use these. Versus some of the uh, more duller teeth on the I guess we'll go over here. We'll just go up through here so they have a good view. It doesn't matter. This is just a demonstration. You don't get much of a creation. I really yes. like the movement of the wedges more so than the cake uh, decorating tools. Well, the cake tools are so sharp, the teeth are so sharp, it doesn't grab a lot of the, no. uh, of the paint. No, so, it doesn't. No, if you want a real subtle effect, that would work. That would, I'm, but I'm going to do another one with this number four so you okay. can see because... Four and two are really cool. Ooh, is it pouring? Yeah, it's pouring out. <laughs> See the difference? I love that number four. Wow. That is so cool. It's very, very pretty. Right. I'm going to do it over this. Well, no, I'll leave the cake thing. Yes. So they can see it. But um, the catalyst tools are amazing. Uh, they should be in my Amazon shop, I believe. Yeah, they are. Phil? Yeah, they are in the Amazon so shop. So remember, number two, number three, mm -hmm. number four, Phil's favorite. Yes. And this is the dinky number 24. Sharper teeth, okay. Sharper Very teeth, sharp wider teeth. teeth. So the all create. Okay, so now effects. what I'm going to do is. If I can, can you just hold your finger there? Because I'm going to pick this one. Maybe you can show that one again. That's the first one I did. This is the first one that this video was tacked on to. Okay. And that was this, all using the same wedge. Correct. And this is the one to show you all the different designs that you can get with the four wedges. So, I hope you learned something. Um... We're going to have Phil do one of these. It'll be fun whenever. I don't know when he's going to do it, but he's got to practice first. And uh, we'll see you all later, alligators. Have a great day, and please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell. Love you all. Bye-bye.